Well, good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Welcome back to school. It is Friday, August 18th. It's cycle day seven. You'll have music today. Let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated for lunch today. Remember what we talked about, these things are amazing. <clears throat> we have French toast sticks with syrup and scrambled eggs, or B option is soft crust with cheese sauce. And your C option is ham and cheese sandwich. You have baked cinnamon apples and pears for your side, all right? Tomorrow for lunch, whatever you have at home. Sunday for lunch, whatever you have at home. And then Monday for lunch, whatever you have here. Out of your options are popcorn chicken breadstick or cheese pizza or a turkey and cheese wrap. That'll be our Monday one. Your sides will be green beans and apple. And obviously, you have the option for the salad bar as well. Okay. All right. Mm -mm. Sounds delicious. Let's see here. 18th. Do we have any birthdays? No. We have no birthdays for August 18th. 19th. No. Zero birthdays. And the 20th. Zero birthdays. Holy moly. It's been a while since we've had any birthdays. So good thing because I think Miss Lexus needs to go refill our birthday things. Um, with our gum and all that. So, um, boys and girls, uh, real quick, as you can see, I am not in the office. I am in our hallway, and I am outside of our counselor's room over here. We have the counselor's corner. So if you guys see these things, she has her thing here that is reset and return. It has some great, great skills that you guys can look use to reset yourself and then return to class, okay? A lot of it are breathing exercises, okay? So one of them here is this figure eight breathing. So you start here, and breathe in, breathe out, okay? You breathed in, You breathed out, all right? If you're getting upset about something, sometimes it's a good idea to just slow down and take some deep breaths, and that's a good skill to use. You can just <clears throat> make a figure eight on your desk and breathe in for part of it, and breathe out for the other part. Mr. Lashapelle has to use some breathing exercises sometimes too when he gets upset. When he's in traffic and surrounded by a couple semis and they're not going the speed limit and one of them's supposed to be passing the other and I'm stuck behind them and I'm trying to get somewhere I can get a little upset so sometimes I have to while I'm driving it helps me calm down and regain my focus okay it can help with you guys too if you get upset about something whether you know your friend didn't play with you at recess or um, something happened where you don't have a pencil or you didn't get the right color or you drew a letter incorrectly. Um, you can use those breathing exercises to help you reset and return, okay? Um, she has my your happy place where you can see something that you like, you can hear something that you like, touch something, smell something, to, or at least think of those things. Um, and that helps you distract from what you were mad about, and then you can get back to learning and doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So those are some good skills to have that you guys can utilize, okay? Um, she also always has your, our Boys Town skill out here, um, and then an old Boys Town skill, all right? Speaking of Boys Town skill, we have getting the teacher's attention, right? So that's what we're working on today, this month, this week. You want to look at the teacher, raise your hand and stay calm, wait until the teacher says your name, and then ask your question, okay? 
Remember those skills when you're asking questions and you need the teacher's attention. All right, boys and girls. All right. So I'm glad Mrs. Cooper sent me some good sign-offs. I might be narrowing it down. I'm going to be sending out a vote to some people, and we'll find out what we want to use um, for that. I want to show you guys something here. This is amazing. No lost and found. How does that happen? Last year, it never looked like this. So that's great to see that there is no lost and found. If you're taking off a sweatshirt, you've been picking it up. There's no lunch boxes on the floor over there. Looks amazing. I love it. There's nothing on the floors in the hallways. There's no extra shoes just laying around, no socks, all that good stuff. So I'm very proud of that. So, but it is Friday. We're going to have an amazing Friday. We're going to end it off strong. So then we can go back to class or go back home for the weekend and enjoy ourselves. So, boys and girls, I'm going to see everybody in the hallways, classrooms, outside, all over the place. Remember, if you want to be an Eisenhower Eagle, you need to work hard, you need to be kind, then we can all soar like eagles. We'll see you later. Bye.